Well guys, this is a buying guide video. And what I mean by that is, is something that you shouldn't do when you're buying a high-end carbon bike. And it's about buying a pre-assembled bike, a bike that, as we know, comes in the box and it's partially pre-assembled, like something when you buy a online bike like a, a Canyon. But also when they, they arrive to the bike shop, a lot of them are already pre-assembled. So there's just a minimal work to do for the bike shop. So let's roll an intro and let's ask that question, why you should never buy a pre-assembled high-end bike? Now my premise here is when you have a bike that comes out of a box, it's put together by a group of people who are just assembling the bike. So they're just putting them together. They're not looking at it and going, oh, hey, look, this doesn't look so good. I'll just fix that up or I'll just change this or oh, I will just face the brakes there because a bit of overspray on the paint. They don't do that. They just put all the stuff on and they're probably getting paid by the amount of bikes per day that they put out. So it's like piecework and they're just packing them up and then putting all of the foam and everything on, which is part of it, goes into the box, it's sealed, then it's sent out to the, to the person who's distributing that bike in whatever country. Now, when it gets to the bike shop, if you go to a good bike shop, normally they take those things off, they take the brake calipers off and they take things apart and they check that they're okay. If you've got someone that you know is good that you can rely on, and I know there's a few mechanics to watch my videos, and I would guarantee those guys are ensuring that that bike has been put together properly by checking everything is in the right spot and that the brakes are all faced and so forth. So the bike, when it goes together, if they don't see something, they go, oh, look, you know, that's not right. Look, we have a look at that. There's a bit of daggy paint, a lump of paint there. We'll move that. So everything, oh, yeah, that works nice and smooth now. That's what they will be doing. And that's what you want when you actually have your high-end bike. Because, I mean, the bikes now are more expensive than motorbikes. You know, if you're buying a top-end bike, you're probably going to, like, drop, you know, between fifteen dollars and $20,000 US. So you want the bike to be perfect. And if you have to pay another 150 or 200 bucks or whatever to the bike mechanic in the shop to ensure that that bike's built properly, it's 100% worth it. So what we're seeing is from, another, uh, from a few other channels is the bikes need remedial work. And we've seen this with the, the Canyon Endurance bike that I did, there was a video, so there's a number of things. Now, luckily enough, the buyer was pretty aware, got the bike checked out and there was a number of things wrong with it. Now, if that bike was coming into that shop to be built up, he would have checked those things and fixed them as he was putting the bike together. So this is why, guys, I don't recommend buying a pre-assembled bike, like off the floor, off the floor, out of the box bike that's just got its bits and pieces put on it and then it's ready to go. Now, when I bought my last bike, my Look 695, that did come in a box, but I changed the groups out, I changed the wheels, I changed quite a lot of things. And the Look bikes actually need a lot of assembly to put them together, they're quite complex. So everything was done, everything was changed out and it ended up being a custom build because I had the seat, I wanted the handlebars changed, I wanted all of this stuff. And that's the other advantage when you get a custom bike, like you just buy a frame, you buy your group set and you buy everything. What you can do when you're doing that, and this is what people think, yeah, you're paying a bit more, but what you don't realize is when you buy a pre-assembled bike, quite often you have to change things. So you're paying for a seat, and you wanna put your favorite seat on, and you wanna change the handlebars, so you gotta change your handlebars. And you may actually have to purchase this because you want a new piece on there or you have to put on your own. But if you buy a bike where you're just buying the frame, you buy the group that you might say, hey, look, I don't want the Shimano crank. I want a rotor crank or I want a different type of crank for whatever reasons or I want one that's got a power meter in built in. So you're not paying for that. You buy that separate and you buy your group set without the crank set. And then you say, hey, look, I want this top of cassette on it. I want this top of chain rings on the front. You may want a medium compact or a, a full 
or a compact or a subcompact, you can buy that and you're not wasting money double spending. And you can put the cassette you've got on, you can put the handlebars you've got on, you can have the tape that you want on so the bike looks exactly how you want it with the seat on that you want. And that's why I don't recommend buying these off the shelf or straight out of the box bikes. When you're spending that sort of money, it's not worth buying a off the shelf bike to save a few bucks because you are buying a very expensive bike and you want that bike to be exactly how you want it and fit you properly. And when you buy a bike for just buy the frame and you buy the pieces individually, it ends up being the bike exactly what you want and fits you exactly. Well, anyway, guys, let me know if you've built up a custom bike and you've bought off the shelf bikes, what are your experiences been? Leave your comments down below because then we can share that in the community, one of those photos community. Okay guys, that's where I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna see you next video.